well, welcome to Toffee TV. This is the Everton News Daily. Obviously, good win for us on Saturday. Make sure you go and check out the final word. Also, your comments, the new show, your comments. Uh, go and check them out. Also, our instant reaction videos. And also, the uh, match player ratings that Bar's done as well. Make sure you go and check them out. But this is the News Daily. What have we got for today? Well, the possibilities of a couple of outgoings. At Everton, could we start seeing a few people leave the club now? Now that we're starting to look like we're getting players in, could we start to see a bit of dead wood go? And could James McCarthy be one of those players? Has he played himself into a move after um, Saturday's dismal performance where he only lasted 37 minutes on the right there? Uh, possibility he could be leaving the club. Maybe if the right, the right deal comes in for him or possibly, who knows, as part of that Coney deal. Um, from Sunderland, obviously, uh, David Moyes is very keen on the play. So we'll wait and see that one. That one could definitely gather place. Even though last week it looked like he was staying, he could have played himself out. He could be also joined by his Irish compatriot, Darren Gibson, who just hasn't featured this season. Obviously, in pre-season, um, we've seen him a little bit. But the manager said he's not fit enough. And if he's not fit enough, then he's out the door. He did get a two-year contract, but... I'm not sure how much uh, Ronald Koeman had to do with that two-year contract. But at the time, it was seen a two-year contract. No point in letting him go for three. Could get a, could get a little uh, little fee for him. So he could be one who I could imagine could be leaving. If he, him and Aidan McGeady go as well, then that could be three Irish players out the door. So we'll wait and see on that one. Uh, one player who has left the club today is Brendan Galloway. He has gone to West Brom on loan for the rest of the season. Ronald Koeman basically saying that he's not going to play so we might as well go out on loan. There was there was an opportunity to go to Newcastle, but he's gone to West Brom, and I think it's absolutely perfect. He could get a year of Premier League football under his, under his belt, working for Tony Pulis, a man who likes to defend. And really, this could this could massively help Brendan Galloway in his development for Everton Football Club. So I'm really happy with this one. No point him sitting around on the bench in the uh, in the under twenty threes. He might as well be playing. If he's playing, he might as well be playing Premier League football. So really happy with this with this deal um as i say to go and play for premier league football for a year whether it be center back whether it be um left back i think that's really really interesting deal and as i say they like to defend and they'll make him a better player tell me what you think in the comments you know west brom is that the right move for the lads you think he should have gone on loan or should he be our second le second choice left back you know brian oviedo not always everyone's favorite always does a job always works hard but he's a good enough defender I don't know, and, and obviously Leighton Baines, um, his age and his injury record the last couple of seasons suggest that we could definitely do a cover there. So let us know what you think in the comments. Um, just a few random transfer dealings today. Um, Rashid Gazal, I think is how you pronounce that. A play that we very, very close to signing, but it looks like he may have rejected the deal. Uh, Leon, happy to see the deal get done, but it looks like the guy is after maybe a new contract um, at Leon. Um, his father, why is it always the fathers? Um, I said, try and get a contract extension, better deal. Um, but the reports from the French media is he's rejected the move in the current state. Now, that's an interesting one. Does that mean that he wants more off Everton? Apparently, Everton were going <sighs> to times his salary by about 20. So it wasn't a bad deal. There's also reports that he wants European football, which obviously Everton can't offer this year. So we'll have to wait and see. That might just be that might just be clever negotiations, trying to get a bit more out of the deal. Maybe he just wants to stay at Leon and he just wants a good deal out of Leon. You know, if that's his club, then I can't really blame the lad if that's what he wants. But we'll wait and see on that one. At the moment, that one looks like it's on ice. Um, but you know. We know the nature of football. That could happen. Um, it may not happen, but at the moment, it looks definitely like it's on ice. A couple of very, very random uh, transfer rumours today that I'll round up on. Napoli striker Manolo Gabardini uh, has been linked with a $30 million move to Everton. Uh, apparently, uh, you know, it's about 25 and 5 in bonuses. He plays for Napoli, 24-year-old, scored five goals last season and three assists. Apparently that makes you a 25 million euro pound player nowadays. Um, 
looked like he would be getting his um, his chance because of Higuain going to Juventus. Um, but according to sources, um, <laughs> Everton are looking at the player. So, I mean, we obviously need strikers. But I just like strikers I'd heard of. So, uh, we'll wait and see on that one. Uh, another striker we've been linked with is Lucas Perez. Deportivo La Carunia. I just love saying that name. Deportivo La Carunia. Uh, striker. 27-year-old. Scored 17 goals last season. Opens his account for the season on Friday night against Ivor as well. Scoring the winning goal. Uh, valued at £15 million. Pounds. That seems like a better one, doesn't it? 17 goals in the Spanish league. 15 million. That seems like a little bit of a better deal to me. Uh, Lucas Perez. 27-year-old. Decent age as well. I'm sure if the club were after him, apparently Steve Walsh likes him. That seems a little bit more of a realistic one. It seems like more of a... Less of an out of left field. For the goals he scored in the Spanish league, for the VAT value, that seems... That seems like a, about right. Whether he could do it in the Premier League on a, on a wet Tuesday night at Stoke, I don't know. But, they are the players we've been linked with. You can't ask more than that. You, you know, it's nice to be linked with players. We've been linked with a lot. It's made my job easy doing these videos. That's all I know. Um, so, yeah. So, potential of comings and goings next week is going to be mental. Transfer deadline day. Can't wait. We'll be doing it all day like we have the last couple at our studios, uh, we'll be on Ball Street all day live, we'll be doing our bits and pieces on Facebook and on YouTube and all the rest of it, like we have done the last couple of years, hopefully it'll be a busy one, ins and outs, because I think we need to bin a couple, um, let's hope Romelu signs the old Everton contract before that as well, so it doesn't become one of those days where we're all sitting there with the, uh, you know, like, like, don't do it, don't do it Rom, so we'll wait and see, but uh, it, it's got the potential to be, a decent week, nine days. Um, obviously, got a couple of games in between now. We've got uh, Yeovil tomorrow and we've got Stoke at the weekend. So, yeah, I'm sure they'll be keeping us busy. As soon as that window shuts, the daily is finished. We are not doing dailies after the window finishes. No chance. What will we have to talk about? Nothing. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure you stick with us all the way through to the transfer deadline day stuff and it'll be our very last one on that day as well so thanks for watching Everton News Daily see you later